I was shopping Friday night at a grocery store um, specifically to pick up stuff that I knew they had that I had sold before. Um, and I also like to check out the clearance while I'm in most grocery stores because that's where I find a lot of the best stuff. And I was absolutely shocked when I went into this particular location and instead of being greeted with like the carts or like the aisle of clearance, they had like a little velvet rope um, and behind it, it said reserved for the flash food app. And I was like, what? Like you're gonna gatekeep the clearance and make me buy it through an app even though I'm in the store right now? That's crazy. I didn't want the inconvenience of having to download an app to buy something. Um, so I took a quick visual look and I didn't see anything I couldn't live without. So I just got what I came for and went back to the car. So I got in the car, my husband was driving and I was like, I'm just gonna download the app. I'm gonna see what it's about and um, maybe there's something to it. And I had a light bulb moment. Like, okay, I was upset because I was in the store wanting to look at the clearance and buy it. But this app could be used to view the clearance remotely of other stores. And then I could buy the stuff and make a plan to go get it. Like, actually, this could be something really useful. And on Saturday, I was planning a trip 45 minutes away to a thrift store that was having a half off sale. So I decided to see if there were any flash food stores along the way that I could, you know, remotely check the inventory of. And there was one. Unfortunately, there are not many flash food stores in my general area. They're all kind of spread out and would be like a trip I'd take on the way to something else. So as we're driving home, I'm flipping through the inventory, seeing if there's anything I might want to buy. And I just about started laughing when I scrolled across two things right next to each other that I had been selling. In fact, we had just come from a store where I had three of these Citricol gummies um, and I had already sold two of them on the way home. And I'm like, jackpot, they literally have three available for me to purchase and they also have three of my magnesium gummies that I sell for almost the same price. So I was like, okay, okay, I see you flash food app. There's something here for me. So I'll get this out of the way first. Flash food is fairly new to the US. So unless you're in a handful of Eastern states, you won't be able to experience it just yet. They just started by partnering with Meyer stores and I've expanded from there and just came to my area in the last month. So there's a good chance you might see flash food in your area soon. Here's the list of chains they're currently working with, but it's not a guarantee every store in the chain will be part of the program. The Myers don't seem to be taking it seriously. The ones I checked on barely had anything listed, and what they did have listed was $5 produce boxes, which is cool, but not so good from a resale perspective. My local grocery chain is doing a better job of not just listing expiring food, but expiring anything, which is what this app would really excel at if the stores would get on board with listing this stuff. Flash Food is really stressing the expiring food aspect, obviously it's part of their name, but they could do so much better if they pivoted just a little to being a general grocery clearance app. Also a little annoying that you can't search or sort, you just see it in the order it was uploaded. Once I placed my order, I didn't even have to leave my car as this store had two drive up spots for flash food pickups. My order was brought out promptly and the worker even complimented my car. Hello, Heather. I can just take it. Thank you. I quickly opened the bag to check the dates to make sure they were what they said they'd be on the app because that's really important for reselling. And they did indeed match. I got them listed on Amazon with one scan of my phone and drove off to the half off thrift store. All six bottles sold that day or the next. So overall, I sold $375 worth of items that I didn't even have to leave my car for. And that's a win in my book. I mean, this program can either really take off or it can fizzle out and die. And I really hope it's the first one. If they lean into the virtual clearance shopping aspect and the stores get on board, this could really be a valuable tool for resellers and frugal shoppers alike. So ultimately, it was a great tool to be able to remotely view clearance, um, which there is a definite need in the market for. Like, could you imagine shopping the clearance updated every day from your favorite grocery store? That is a reseller's dream. So while I was initially upset and put off by it, I could see this working for me. I definitely recommend downloading it, seeing if there are any stores in your area currently using it, and then just browse, just see if there's any deals you can make happen. 
And definitely comment below or tag me on Instagram if you find a flash food deal because I would love to know if this is you know, a one-time thing that I lucked out on or if there's more to it. Resellers can always use a new tool in their pocket to help them make money, so why not give it a try? I hope you find something profitable.